Richard Southern joins us now for the interesting stories of the day. So one of them might make you a little upset. That's Taylor Swift. She's not coming to Canada. Everyone's really super bummed out about this. Yeah, because she added more dates, 14 more stops, but none of them bringing her here. This has gotten political now, believe it or not. It's gone right to the top. The Prime Minister. Parliament Hill. Involved. Trudeau tweeting about this, tweeting at Taylor Swift. Okay. And he got creative with it, the Prime Minister. Uh, he actually riffed on some of Taylor Swift's lyrics. He said, quote, it's me, hi. I know places in Canada would love to have you, so don't make it another cruel summer. We hope to see you soon. Do you think he knows the lyrics? Maybe it's his kids, his staff? I'd like to think maybe he is a Swifty, but I don't know if you think Taylor Swift knows who he is? I think so. I like to think so. If you're going to know one world leader, why not have it be Trudeau? Well, we'll see if this gets any results or not. If yeah. she actually comes to Canada. Any action coming from that one? We'll see. We'll see. Uh, all right, the summer travel season, it has begun, and you have a helpful service that is available to us. You want to tell us this about This is really cool. Uh, if you're going to Japan, maybe you want to take advantage of this. Japan Airlines has oh, announced I wish. now. Yeah. This would be nice. Japan Airlines has announced. You don't have to bring a bag with you. You don't have to, you can leave your clothes at home. They have a new service whereby when you land, you can rent clothes. Really? Rent a whole, a whole wardrobe. You give them your size, I guess? You tell them what you like. For $48, you get up to nine pre-owned clothing items waiting for you when you get there. That sounds the, like a bargain. It sounds pretty good. The airline not only trying to make life easier for passengers, but really trying to cut down on carbon emissions because the more luggage is on the plane, the more fuel it burns. That makes sense, but I guess you're just stuck with whatever they give you for 48 bucks. <laughs> a, a jacket that doesn't fit right. Um, toothbrush. Well, they, they include a you toothbrush. You can actually rent someone's old toothbrush, too. <laughs> Very interesting. <laughs> well, that's so handy. <laughs> Definitely sign me up for that one. All right, so maybe if you're not heading to Japan this summer to use someone else's toothbrush, <laughs> uh, there are some activities, of course, having, happening closer to home. One that I would, might be interested in. I love everything about this. It's called Meow Fest. It's okay. a cat-themed festival. Of course. Coming back to Toronto. It was here before the pandemic. Now Meow Fest making a return Sunday, July 23rd at the warehouse venue. It's cat everything, cat-themed shopping interactive workshops, adoptable kittens, Ooh. and uh, food trucks, celebrity cat meet and greets. I don't know who the celebrity cats are because a grumpy cat has unfortunately passed yes, on. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, I can't think of any. Uh, I, I, I do, ha I mean, my cat's no celebrity. I do have a cat though, Gizmo. Let's make your cat a celebrity, uh, can we see? I don't know if she'd be able to um, meet and greet people because she's kind of a jerk. Um, you're, but uh, You're smack talking Gizmo on yeah, television here. She, she doesn't watch the news either, so we're good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and all the proceeds from Meow Fest go to uh, cat-themed uh, 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 charities. Oh, nice. So that's nice. Sounds we'll, like bring, a we'll bring Gizmo to Meow Fest. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see about that one. I don't think you want to <laughs> get in close contact with her. A festival the internet would love, though. Yes, we love cats on the internet <laughs> and maybe in person, too, at Meow Fest. <laughs> Thanks for that, Richard. We'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks, Melissa.